hello, hello, I'm Sam I Am, and welcome to Sam I Am Somewhere. And that's somewhere it's tonight. We are going to the Burlington Regal for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night, and tonight's movie is, we are doing a double bubble with Barbie Heimer. Two movies, two reviews for Barbie. I used to play Barbies when I was a little girl, and I cannot wait to see what Barbie is like on the big screen. For Oppelheimer, when the new Christopher Nolan movie comes out, you're just a little bit more excited because it's not just a movie, it's more like an event. His movies are made for the big screen. Of course we gotta stop here, it's Chick-fil-A. It's thir part of our Thursday night's tradition. Let's head in and take care of our chicken business. Mm -mm -mm. And the way we go. Okay, now we just watch Barbie. My first reaction, I think it was okay, not good. Adam up, you're up. What was your first reaction? My first reaction was, uh, it was, I think it was bad. I couldn't wait for Oppenheimer. I'm ready for Oppenheimer. That was my first reaction. Don Solo, what was <laughs> your first reaction? First reaction was way better than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's move on to the positive things. My positive things that Will Ferrell was a great actor and Cat was pretty good. Adam, what were your positive things? Um, yeah, uh, the best part of the movie for me was Ken. Um, in the Barbie movie, Ken was the only thing that was worth watching. Don Solo, what was your positive things? Uh, the goofy, uh, over-the-top scenes with Ken. Best part. Don't like the musical numbers? The musical numbers, the fight scenes, it was great. All right, <laughs> let's move on to the negative things. My negative things that was boring and weird, and it smelled like peppermint in the middle of the movie. Adam, up. <laughs> what were your negative things? Um, no, Donnie, you go first. <laughs> Don Solo? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It got really slow in some parts and tried to be a little too serious for a goofy movie that it was. That's really the only negative I got on it. Okay. Adam up, what were your negative things? Uh, well, I was kind of surprised that Mattel allowed Hollywood to make a movie that, that was basically a takedown of their own toy line. And I know that was supposed to be about feminism, but it was really uh, like poorly disguised misandry and not feminism. All right, would you pay to, pay to go see it or? All right, rating. I would rate it seven out of 10. Adam up, what would you rate it? Uh, Six out of ten. Don Solo? I, I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it a six out of ten. But you have to see it in the theaters. I don't think you'd appreciate it at home. All right. Would you pay to go see it or? Nah. Just wait for streaming. Um, I would never watch it again. So I would say wait for streaming. Wait for streaming. Pay to go see it. You don't want to watch it at home. All right. Let's head over to watch Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Let's do it. Oppelheimer time. We were supposed to be in theater seven, but the projector wasn't working. And we were supposed to be in theater one. The projector wa projection wasn't working, but they move us to the eight o'clock showing in theater 15. That is a smaller theater. So stay tuned for the review. I'm glad you stick with us. We just watched Oppelheimer. Let's do our, re our review. My first reaction, I think the Movie blew me away. It blew me away. Good movie. Adam up. What was your first reaction? Um, it was very serious. It's one that you have to, it's going to make you think about it for a while. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? Uh, very good. Uh, didn't want to get up the whole time and it was, uh, it was a long movie. All right, let's move on to the positive things. My positive things that Christopher Nola did a really good job directing. He was in other movies like Tenant, the Batman movies and Interception. And I like the actress that was in Quiet Place and Jungle Cruise. She did a good job. And it was an interesting story. As it was about history, science, and philosophy. Adam, what, were you, what was your positive things? Um, I think it was a lot like The Dark Knight. I, I, there's a lot of the same themes. Uh, Christopher Nolan, I, I picked up three of the same themes. Like um, there was the disposable hero, the, the, the government they used Oppenheimer until they no longer needed him. Um, power corrupts. And 
There's one other thing. I'll think of it, but that's Donnie. I can't think of it now. Don Solo, what was, what was your positive things? Uh, the cast. There was everybody in it. Like Our 60 people. Crazy. Oh. That's all right. Go ahead. What was me? <laughs> Uh, I, th I thought of it, the, um, the Joker. One man's actions uh, results in uh, suffering of many. All right, let's move on to the negative things. The negative things that it was too long, it was a little boring. Add them up, what were your negative things? I uh, wish we saw it on IMAX, or at least in Theater 7. Don Solo? Uh, just no complaints on it. It's just a uh, screen a little too small. Definitely would love to see it in IMAX. All right, would you pay to go see it or, nah, just wait for streaming. I'd pay to go see it. I'll probably pay to go see it on IMAX. Pay to go see it. Yeah, definitely pay it. I would rate it 9 out of 10. Adam up, what would you rate it? Same, 9 out of 10. Don Solo? I'll give it a 9, definitely. Great movie. Well, we did it all. We ate Chick-fil-A, we did a double bubble, and we talked about it. Next week's movie is... The Haunted Mansion. There's no turning back now. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and you could subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you real soon.